First and foremost, give your artist name, everything where you're from for the fans out there. Um, my name's Kishore, aka K Baby. Um, I'm from my mom. My mom's vagina. I came from that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Natural born, but uh, from the south, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So you've been on tour recently. How's the tour lifestyle? Like you like it? Uh, yeah, that's just cool. You know what I'm saying? Outside, it's like uh. It's fun, but it's also miserable, but it's fun, you know what I'm saying? All sorts of different emotions. Yeah. When you were a young kid, did you imagine everybody, like, looking at you on stage being that artist? When did that become a real thing for you? Um, I don't know. I never really, I always, like, whenever I was making music, it was really just for me, you know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. The fact that other people fuck with it is honestly really surprising. I, I'm blessed for it, too. This shit's amazing, you know what I'm saying? People supporting and pulling up to the shows. It still doesn't feel real, you know what I'm saying? Nothing really feels real. The only thing that feels real is just the gang, songs, just making songs and being with the fan. That's really it. I feel you. Yeah. So definitely been working with Snot recently as well. How did that first start happening? Um, just like off the media type shit. Niggas just like met over time and then just became close, just homies and things like that. Nothing really too like crazy story, just some like how you would become friends with a regular person. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people that have seen you in shows definitely feel like you're more like an outgoing guy. Like you scream, go crazy at shows. But like, are you day to day just more of a chill person? Yeah, I can't lie. I just be vibing, smoking, playing video games. Like, I'm just a normalized nigga. Like, what video games you rock with? I fuck with uh, Apex, Last of Us, Uncharted, oh, yeah. Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart. OG shit. Yeah, I just be keeping it like just regular. Nothing too crazy. Hell yeah. So like in the studio, I feel like you just are such like a different artist. Like you try out so many new things. What's your process like? Like do you start with beats? Do you start with hooks? Do you have melodies in your head already? Um, I really start with like, um, it's a mixture of the writing and the beat. You know what I'm saying? I write a lot of poetry and shit. I just be writing shit. That's dope. With no beat. I'm like, oh, this sounds nice. This is how I feel. I'm gonna write it down. Hell yeah. And then eventually like I'll come across a beat that brings what I wrote to life, you know what I'm saying? So I just oh, fuck yeah. around. It, it depends, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I get the beat, I write something I really fuck with, or I write something and then the beat just comes to it, not just morphing around that, just, you know. Right yeah, I shit. feel you. How long you been doing poetry? Has that been something that's always been a part of your life? Yeah, literally like, uh, since I was a kid, like the first time I heard acid rap. That's fire. So that's probably like freshman year. I was like, damn, like, I want to write shit, so I just started writing shit freshman year of high school. It's probably like 15, 16. Ever since then, just been what writing. else were you listening to around that time other than acid rap? What was really in your ears? Um, Childish Gambino, Fire, Mac DeMarco, Hell yeah. Um, what should we call it? Amy Winehouse, Oh dear. Tori Moi or Tori Moy, whichever one. Um, yeah. Our future, you know what I'm saying? Od. Yeah, and a lot of Kanye. Of course. Like are any other artists out there that you really like influence like by right now that are going crazy? Um, I fuck with a lot of artists coming up. I wouldn't say I'm like influenced by them. I just like really appreciate the music. Like everyone's been like going hard, like really yeah. pushing themselves. And I fuck with that like artistic drive that's really been going on. Like with a lot of the niggas out here making music and shit. Um, but for the most part, if I'm drawing inspiration right now, it's currently from like how Project Pat records. That's dope. I fuck with the way his vocals sound on the beats. Um, yeah. I want to emulate that, but in my own sort of way. I've been like, kind of like listening to OG shit to really like, you know, get my IQ up, you feel me? Hell yeah. So let's say you've been dropping singles recently. Is there any big words on any projects? You continue dropping singles? Like what's the upcoming plans for the future for you? Um, I'm working on a project right now. It's, it's called Skull Candy. Hell yeah. I'm working on that shit. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out, I'm taking my time with it, honestly. Necessary. You know what I'm saying? When it when it comes to fruition, it'll make itself apparent. But for the most part, I'm just dropping like yeah. songs and shit, staying active, letting niggas know I'm still making shit. Cause that's usually my problem. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a recluse. Like I'm I have an outward personality, be doing all this shit, but I'd be like reclusive, you know what I'm saying? Just working on shit but not dropping it. And I gotta feed the fans, you know what I'm saying? They be hungry out here. Hell yeah. So like in the studio, when you really make that song, is that something you really feel like I got to put this out immediately, like the fans need this type shit? Or are you like stacking together like multiple shit you know they're ready for? I'm stacking. And then all the shit that I feel like is good, but doesn't fit in that realm, 
I'll drop like, that yeah. because Hell that's yeah. also part of my sound as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. That's pretty much the questions that we had. Do you want to ask anything else? Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. So, yo, so the first time we met you was in New York for Fashion Week, and we see right now you a dude that puts that shit on. So I was just wondering if you could break down what you got in your body right now. On my body? Uh, I got this Distress custom hoodie right now, homie's brand. I forgot if this is an Oakley or not, but it's just like a Hunter's, like, ski mask. I got this Damn. old, like, fucking workman's winter coat with the khakis and then some boots. Mm -hmm. I really like, uh... I don't really give a fuck about the brands, you know what I'm saying? Just how good it looks together, you know what I'm saying? Got these shades on. Most of the time, like, I be putting shit on, I don't be knowing what the fuck I'm wearing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just like how it looks. Like, a lot of, a lot of niggas, you know, got a lot of fashion IQ. I'm like, I'm a beginner nigga with this shit. I just be putting shit on. That was really the swag niggas came up on was just fucking around and like, putting shit on, not even really caring what it is. So I can't really fully, completely give you an honest statement on what I'm wearing right now, but just know it's fly, you know what I'm saying? For sure, bro. One thing I mentioned in a TikTok I made about you on your Apple Music, it compares you to Claro. I was wondering what you think of that comparison. Shit, uh, it's random, but at the same time, like, it's cool, because I really fuck with Claro. Uh, I think your music's really dope. She's a good ass artist. And like, I kind of, I feel like I'm a part of that lane. But at the same time, like, I'm still, like, you know, not in that. I just draw inspiration from it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got the versatility. Like, you can make a song on, on a melodic note like that. But then we see you turning up every time you're on stage. I was yeah. wondering, like, because you seem like a pretty chill dude when we talk to you. When you go on stage, do you have anything you do to like kind of psych yourself out or you just get on there and transform? Uh, for me, it's really like, uh, it's like all my pain, for real. Cause I'm a chill nigga, but like, I have a lot of shit that, you know, I deal with just in my head. Just I deal with like off screen, just away with niggas, with the mm -hmm. real niggas that I be around and shit. So like, when I'm on stage, that's like, that's like therapy, I feel like, just getting all that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, even though niggas is making music and niggas is living the lifestyle, a lot of the young niggas want to live, like we still human beings, like we still going through shit. And like, you know, performing is a good way to let that shit out. It's an art form too, so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rather do that than fucking fight niggas or go do stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's put it into something productive. That's yeah. really what be transforming me to go crazy when, like, when I be performing. I just be thinking about all the shit that just made me mad or like hurt my feelings and then like I just express that through the songs and, and a lot of the songs are emotion driven like I don't make songs intending them for them to be hits like I don't make songs intending for you to even like them like it's just literally I'm just speaking about what the fuck I'm going through at the time all the shit be going on in my life I just write it down because that's my therapy session you know what I'm saying that's what be get, keeping me alive you feel me? Yeah, bro. That's fire, bro. Also, what what's a message you would give to? Or excuse me, like what's a message you would give to the youth, people watching your fans, fans of Without Warning, that's going through kind of some of the same things? Um, you need to give a fuck about yourself. You know what I'm saying? You need to. I know it was like the cool thing to say, like fuck me, like fuck this life, shit. Like you gotta care about yourself, man. You know, you get one life, you gotta embrace it, and you also gotta like push yourself first and not let people opinions weigh you down, you know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta trust yourself, you know what I'm saying? At the same time too, you also have to have discernment and uh, and listen to advice from homies that want good shit for you and just keep on, keep on a straight path, keep that shit moving, you know what I'm saying? It's not always about being the most different nigga, the most edgy nigga, the most violent nigga, the most loud nigga. It's about being yourself. That's really the best thing I can say to these kids and also, don't give, stop giving a fuck about these niggas, bro. They, stop giving a fuck about niggas that don't give a fuck about you. Cause now you just look like you sucking dick. Stop sucking dick, bro. Just care about what you like. Stop riding waves and just be yourself and you'll be a hundred times more happier, bro. Bro, that's important, bro. Yeah. Stop sucking dick. Stop sucking dick. That ass. <laughs> Nigga, right. Niggas sucking dick of niggas that don't even know them and probably don't even 
don't even give a fuck about them, you know what I'm saying? Like, just give a fuck about the people in your circle and the shit you care about. Facts, bro. That's important as fuck, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah fuck right, about last, the politics. Last question, really, for me. We were talking a little bit earlier about your tour, uh, like, Suicide Boys, Ski Mask, Not. I was wondering, like, what's the funniest story from that tour that you could tell us? Um... If there are any. Let me see. Uh, there's all sorts of crazy stories. I feel like just like being in the van is, is a story on itself. Those long drives when niggas is cracking jokes, niggas is getting into arguments, you know, stopping at rest stops. That in itself is like one just funny ass story. All these funny ass conversations, shit like that. It's really the, I don't know. I can't really specify. It's all sorts of crazy things. And what, like, actually, last thing now, what would you say you like learned most from that experience? Um, what I learned is like, uh, you gotta stay true to yourself. Like I was saying before, like, I taking my advice right now. I gotta stop giving a fuck and start giving a fuck about me and doing what I want to do and like, you know, thinking about myself as well as thinking about mm -hmm. the niggas that actually. That's a fact. Keep your circle tight. Yeah, Run keep myself healthy and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, abuse of drugs, but in moderation, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, you don't have to go too hard all the fucking time. Yeah, facts, bro. You got to use it. Use drugs. Don't let drugs use you. Yeah, facts. Type shit. All right, thank you, bro. It's yeah, a fire yeah, interview, yeah. bro. I'm excited to see you perform. Continue yeah, shit going to be cool. It's going to be a fun time. Hell yeah. If there's two niggas, one nigga, fuck it. We still going in. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, gang. Hell yeah, bro. It's gonna be a dope ass video. Oh, man. Nigga, man. I'll fall for hitting you with the left. Oh, uh, no, you good, gang. Oh,